All right, so it's already lunch time. So, uh, you know, feel free to eat while listening. So as long as we're not seeing that you're eating and then we're not hearing that you're eating. So uh, no problem. So again, uh, we'll just wait uh, one more minute for the others. Maybe uh, there might be others who's going to join us so that uh, they can start, uh, you know, officially. So while waiting, uh, anyone who has a question so far? Questions or clarifications? Is my voice clear? Is that uh, loud enough for you guys to understand uh, what I'm trying to say? Okay, because I thought uh, maybe you guys are not hearing me well, so just wanted to know. All right, so it's already 12.15, so let's continue now our discussion. Okay, so the next one right here after the type subcircuit, so we we also have this one a combination uh, circuit. So we have two types also. We have the series parallel and then the parallel series. So to make it simple, the first one, okay, the first word right here, the series, uh, whatever is that uh, name right here. So it is the major connection of that uh, entire circuit. So as you guys can see, series parallel, so there's more series connection than a parallel connection. So with that, we'll be able to see that it's a series parallel circuit. Okay, let me just uh, say that series parallel. In other words, you know, in uh, other definition, I consider this one as a parallel circuit already. Okay. So as long as I saw a parallel connection, that's already a parallel circuit. So regardless of, you know, how many series circuit, I mean, how many series path, how many uh, parallel path, as long as there is one parallel connection, that's already considered as a parallel circuit. Okay. And then the other one, okay, is a parallel series. So it's just the opposite. Okay, of this one. So again, uh, whichever is the first one, that's the major connection of the entire circuit. So there's more parallel, parallel connection than a series connection. But then again, I consider this one as a parallel circuit. You know, just avoid condition because you don't need to uh, know if it's series parallel or parallel series. Well. Uh, if it's being, if you're being asked, uh, if, is this by series or par uh, series parallel or parallel series? So if it's being asked, then that's the time that you only, that's the time that uh, you need to uh, analyze this circuit. You know, how many series connection, how many parallel. But if it's if it's not being asked, in I never ask if uh, if it's series parallel or parallel series, then no need to analyze if it's something like that. So just consider that one as a parallel uh, circuit right away. Okay. So here's an example, okay? Here's an example of series parallel. So this is one series connection after determining this one, and then another series connection after determining this one, and then another series connection going back right here after, ah, so there's more analysis. Uh, no more analysis when it comes to this uh, R5 since it is not uh, parallel to uh, any resistor. So as you guys can see, we have three series connection and then two parallel series connections. So this one is an example of series parallel connection or series parallel uh, circuit, okay? But for the other one, so if you're going to count this one, there is a total of three parallel connection, okay? So uh, in here, we have one, 
two, and then three. And then we have, you see this connection right here? Oops, my bad, this one should be connected. So this is just a uh, typo picture. Typo, meron mag typo. Well, this is a uh, incorrect picture since this one is not connected to this one. Anyway, uh, just imagine that we are connected. Okay, so this is a parallel, parallel, parallel. So there's more parallel connection than a series connection for this example. Okay, so are we clear so far when it comes to combinational circuit, the series parallel and then parallel series? Okay, so that's good. How about the others? So only Mr. Donato were able to understand this one? <laughs> or are you guys eating now? So I hope that you guys are still listening. Okay. Okay. So that's it for the uh, combinational circuit. So here are now the rules for the series and then parallel. But of course, we uh, will start with series series rules connection first. So for the current, here is the rules. So components in a series circuit share the same current. So it's, you know, it's common sense since it's a series connection. So there's only one flow of current. So there's only one uh, value for that one. So I total is equal to I1, equal to I2, and so on and so forth. Okay. And then for the resistance, for you to be able to get the total resistance, all you have to do is add the values. As simple as that. Okay. So if we have, let's say, three resistance, then just add those three, R1 plus R2 plus R3. Okay. But be sure that it's really in a series connection. Because if they not, then you cannot add them. You have to use a different formula, okay? Which I will discuss right now, which is a parallel rules connection. So in here, the one that is uh, equal is the voltage uh, value, okay? So in here, if we have, let's see, five volts, okay, voltage source, then uh, this voltage part right here is also five volts. It's also five volts in here, and it's also five volts in here. Okay, that's how uh, voltage uh, work when it comes to electrical circuit. So that is the reason why E total or this E is actually equal to V. Because you might get confused that, you know, what, what is this E? Is it electric? So E is equal to, uh, or in other words, we call this one EMF or electromotive force. But uh, they just made it short. Let's say E, which is equal to a uh, voltage uh, source. Okay, so E total is V total. Equal, also equal to V total, which is also equal to E1 or V1 or E2 or V2 and so on and so forth. Okay. So for now, just memorize this one if you cannot uh, get the uh, logic behind it and why it why it's uh, equal. Okay. So that's it for the voltage. And then for the resistance, if you wanted to uh, get uh, the R total, okay, so you cannot just add them right away. So if it's, let's say, three resistance, see R1, R2, and R4, okay, say uh, the other resistance doesn't exist, just R1, R3, and R4, then you have to use this one, okay? So one divided by one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3, and so on and so forth, okay, as long as they are in a parallel connection. But if there is only two, let's say uh, this one right here, uh, they are in parallel connection, R1 and R2. So you can use this formula instead, just to make it short. R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2, okay? So this is only applicable if there are two resistors. But if there were uh, three and above, then you have to use this formula right here, okay? So you don't need to simplify this one. Just put this one uh, right away to your calculator, and then you'll be able to solve the R total, all right? So that's it for the resistance when it comes to parallel uh, rules connection. The last one when it comes to current. So in here, you have to add, of course. So, you know, to make it simple, let's have a short uh, representation of our current. So of course, this is our voltage source. So there's a current that is flowing in here. So initially, we call that one I total, okay? since there's only one flow of current as of now. But at this point, so this current now will be divided into three parts. Okay, so some will go here, some 
will also go here and then sum will go here. So basically, you know, we don't know uh, how many currents will flow in here and then how many currents will flow in here. The same with this uh, part right here. So we call this one I1, I2, and then I3. So we now have a total of three uh, flow of current, okay, that's being divided into three. Okay, but of course, not exactly being divided. So some are higher, some are lower, etc., etc. So depending on the uh, load that's uh, uh, it's being uh, passed through. So at this point, of course, they will meet at one node. Okay, right here. So at this point, it will go back to let's say I one plus I two plus I three. Then we call this one now again the I total. Okay. So I total initially divided into three and then will go back to this, you know, uh, at some point it will go back to this uh, node right here. And then it's now the same as before. I total and then I total before it will return to our uh, voltage source. Okay. So that's reason why when it comes to parallel, that's reason why we have this one. Uh, I total is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4, depending on how many uh, division of currents that hap that happen on, on that specific circuit. Okay? So in here, we only have three paths. So there's three currents. So if you're going to apply that one uh, using this formula, so we have I total is equal to I1 plus I2 and then plus I3. Okay? So if you have more, let's see another path in here then it should be plus I4, okay? With that, you'll be able to get the I total of that uh, specific uh, circuit. So are we clear so far when it comes to series and parallel uh, rules connection? Hello, hello, hello. Are you guys still around? Or wala na kayo sa harapan ng computer niya. So isa na lang sumasagot. So I hope that, you know, the others are still listening. So that, you know, just in case that he wasn't able to understand uh, a specific, uh, uh, you know, a certain point on my explanation, then feel free to ask me right away. Okay. All right. So let's now move on to the uh, examples, the basic examples. So number one, example number one, so what? A 30 ohm R resistor is connected in series with a resistor R whose ohmic value is unknown. If the current is 2 ohm when the circuit EMF is 115 volts, calculate the resistance of the unknown. So uh, I have already prepared the circuit diagram of this one. So we have here the EMF or the voltage source, okay, which is 115 volts. Okay, and then we have here the first resistance, which is 30 ohms. And then this one is connected in series with a resistor R who is unknown. So let's just say that it's R2, wherein we don't know the value of that uh, R2. Okay, so if the current is 2 ohm, okay, we have a current that is flowing right here. So we have a uh, I total which is equal to 2 ampere, okay? So it is asking us to determine this uh, ohmic value of R2, okay? So again, since we are in a series connection, so we have to use the series rule connection when it comes to resistance. So we have here R total is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 and so on and so forth. So if you go, if you guys are going to take a look at this one, so we only have two resistance, which is, you know, in series connection. So using the formula, oops, using the formula R total, this one is equal to the first resistance followed by, oops, followed by the second resistance, which it doesn't know the value yet. So for us to be able to get the value of R2, we have to identify the value of R total first. So how do we do that? So using the formula I is equal to B divided by R. So we can derive here the uh, R, wherein R is equal to V, ah, balik that. Ah, that's right, V divided by, okay. Sometimes this one is quite, you know, quite confusing. 
So instead of using that one, let me just uh, write it. I is equal to B divided by R. So just put is one right here and then I will go right here. So for us to be able to get the R, so we should have this formula. R is equal to B divided by I. Wherein B is already given, the 115 volts, and then I is also already given, which is the 2 amps. So with that, we'll be able to get the R total already. Okay, Just uh, take note that when we see R total, when we see R total, for you to be able to get the R total, you should also have the voltage total or the V total and then the I total. Okay? Because we could have an individual voltage uh, drop or voltage across that resistance or uh, an individual current. So uh, there are different uh, thing already. So in here, if you're uh, getting the R total, you want to get the R total, then you should uh, have the V total and then the I total. Where in, in this case, we have the V total and then the I total, which is one. So with that, uh, we can already solve for the R total. So V is equal to 115 divided by uh, I is equal to 2 amps. So in here, 655.57. Alright. Yeah, I think it's 57.5. So 115 divided by 2 is 57.5. So this is now our R total. So uh, the unit of this one is ohms. So you could write ohms or you could write omega. So this is a, a symbol for uh, ohmic unit, okay? So in here, we already have 57.5. Use this one just to be consistent. 57.5 is equal to, so R1 is already given, 30 plus, plus R2. So the one that we're looking for is R2. So, so there's no only one unknown in this one. So we can now solve for the value of R2. So R2 is equal to 57.5 minus 30. So R2 is equal to 27.5 ohms. All right. So this is our answer for this uh, example. So let's see if we have the same result. 27.5 uh, ohms. So, were you guys able to follow? Hmm? What about the others? Okay, great. So if ever that uh, you have a question, so again, just ask me right away, okay? You don't need to raise your hand anymore. All right, so moving on to the example number two. So a 30 ohm resistance is connected in parallel. So before uh, they are in series connection, but right now they are now in a parallel connection with a resistor R whose ohmic value is unknown. If the total current taken by both resistors is 5.7 ohm, when the circuit uh, EMF is 114 volts, calculate the resistance of the unknown. So before they are just in series, but right now they are now uh, in parallel connection. So before we have 115 volts, but right now we have 114 uh, volts uh, or voltage source. So, uh, you know, uh, the same concept, it's just that it differs when it comes to solving for uh, the value of R2, okay? But we have, we actually have a lot of ways for us to be able to get the value of uh, R2 right here. So in here, the one that uh, we've used is the, okay, wait, what is the formula that I, I did in here, so I30, it's flowing in here, 114 divided by 30 is equal to 3.8 ampere in here. And then he identified the current that is flowing on the R2. I R2, this one should be I R2. 7 minus 34, 114 divided by, ah, I see. Okay, so you can also do this one, though this one is quite complicated. Okay, so in here, uh, since we already know that we have a total of 5.7 amp, okay, and knowing that uh, the formula of uh, current in parallel series, uh, parallel series, parallel connection 
is I2 total is equal to I1 plus I2, and so on and so forth. Okay, so we can use this one already to identify the individual currents that is flowing on this uh, circuit right here. So in here, the first one that we keep is using the uh, I is equal to V divided by R. So we were able to identify the uh, current that is flowing on the R1 right here. So to make it consistent, let me just change this one into IR1, okay? So IR1 and then IR2. So for us to be able to get the IR1, so uh, we did get the V1, V1 and then the R1, okay? So we are getting the I1. So take note, uh, if we are getting uh, individual um, values, then you should also have the other individual uh, corresponding values, okay? So if it's I1, then you should get the V1 and then the R1 also. Okay, if it's I2, then you should get the V2 and then the R2. Okay, so in here, uh, since we are in a parallel connection, going back to the uh, rule of parallel, so V total is actually equal to E1. It's also equal to E2, depending on how many uh, parallel connections that you have on that specific circuit. So in here, we only have uh, two connections wherein they are in parallel. So uh, this E1 right here is also equal with E2. In other words, it's also equal with our V total. So we have 114 volts that is flowing in here, and we also have 114 volts that is flowing uh, in here. So with that, we can now solve for the value of the I2, and then we can now get the value of R2. All right, so let me get this one to make it faster to dissolve. Okay, so going back to the formula of I total is equal to I1 plus uh, I2. So uh, and here we have to identify the value of I1. So I1 is equal to V1 divided by R1, wherein V1 is also equal to V total okay, divided by R1. So V1 or V total is 114 volts divided by R1, which is 30 ohm. So in here, we can now get the individual current that is flowing on the R1. So 114 divided by 30. So we will get a 3.8 amps that is flowing in here. Okay, so let me just put it right here. So I1 is equal to 3.8 amps. Right there, okay. All right, and then it says here, where is that one? It says here that uh, uh, the total current taken by both resistors is 5.7 amp. Okay. So I total right here, I total is equal to 5.7 amp. So initially, we have a current that is flowing right here, which is 5.7 amp, wherein uh, I1 now plus I2, so as they meet on this node, will go back to the same value, which is I total, which is 5.7 amp, okay? So using this formula, we can already identify the uh, current that is flowing on the R2. So uh, using this formula, so I total, is equal to I1 plus I2. So I total is 5.7 is equal to I1, which is 3.8 plus I2. So in here, we you know just transpose this one on the other side and then you'll be able to identify the value of I2. So 5.7 minus 3.8. So we will get a value of 5.7 minus 3.8, 1.9 amps. Okay. Now, if you already have the uh, one, the individual uh, individual current that is flowing on the R2, then you can now identify the R2. So R2 is equal to V2 divided by I. So where this one came from? This one came from the original equation that we have on the Ohm's law, I is equal to VR. 
So just put this one on the uh, left side and then uh, put the i on the uh, right side equation. So that uh, you'll arrive with this uh, formula. Okay, r2 is equal to v2 divided by i2. So with this one, v2 is again the same with the v total. Okay, and then i uh, i2 is still i2. So let me just move this one right here. Maybe you guys cannot see this one anymore. Okay, let's have the R2 right here. So V total is 114 volts, and then I2 is equal to 1.9 amps. So whatever is the result, that is now the value of our R2. So 114 divided by 1.9. So I highly recommend that you should always have your calculator uh, beside you. Since this is a, a mathematics subject, so this is your best friend. Okay, this will save your uh, ass in everything. Okay, in all of the uh, problem that you will encounter uh, on this subject. So the answer is sixty. So sixty ohms or sixty omega. Okay, which is now the same with this one. All right, so were you guys able to get this one? All right, so still then, uh, Miss Daniela, Mr. Donato, what about the others? All right, so I hope. You guys are, you know, getting this one also. But anyway, so let's now move on to the example number three. So example number three, the following information is given in connection with the uh, series parallel circuit, which is this one. So uh, E is equal to 48, or the voltage source is 40 volts. R1 is 6, R3 is 12, uh, R3 is 3, R4 is 15, uh, R5 is 90, R6 is 30. And then here are the questions. So calculate the total equivalent resistance of the entire circuit. Okay, so it's asking us to get the R total. Next one is the total current or the I total. Next one is the voltage drop across each section. Okay, or the uh, voltage that will pass through on the individual uh, resistors. Okay, and then the current through each resistor. And then the total power taken by the entire circuit. Okay, so let's now jump into the solution right away. So having this one and then their given values. Okay, where is it one? Uh, this one right here. Maybe it would be better if I'll put it right here. So just for our uh, basis, okay. So just for us to be able to get the uh, R total, so we can uh, have this you know uh, equation right here, wherein uh, R one times R two divided by R one plus R two. So the first one right here can be solved using this formula, okay. Since there's only two resistance, wherein they are in uh, parallel connection with each other, so R one times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So if you're wondering where this one came from, so this one came from the parallel uh, rules connection, this one right here, okay? So if you only have two resistance, then you can use this one. But if there's three or more, then you have to use this formula instead. So going back to our uh, solution, and then followed by the series connection of R3, so plus R3, all right? And then, for the next one, as you guys can see, we have uh, a parallel, parallel connection again. However, there is no three uh, resistance. So with that, we now have to use this kind of uh, formula. So again, where this one came from? This one came from the parallel uh, rule connection. Okay, where is that one? This one right here. Okay. So going back to our uh, formula, okay, or to our solution. So after that, after you know you're done in building up the uh, formula, 
or the equation on how to get the R total, then you can now substitute the uh, corresponding value of that uh, specific variable. So R1 is equal to 6, just base it, it uh, right here. And then R2 is 12, uh, R3 is 3, R4 is 15, R5 is 90, and then R6 is 30. And then just, you know, solve this one using your calculator, and then you will get 16 ohms in total. Okay? And then for the I total, so since we're talking about uh, total value, then you should also have the V total divided by the R total. Okay, so V total is 48 volts, and then I total is 16 uh, ohms. Okay, so if you have an incorrect answer to the uh, equivalent resistance, then your I total is already uh, incorrect. So just be careful when it comes to solving uh, this one, the I total, R total, or the V total. All right. Okay, so are we clear so far when it comes to letter A and letter B? So please verify also maybe, you know, the 16 ohms is uh, incorrect. Okay, so we should have the same result. All right, so I hope you guys were able to follow up to this point. So if you need more time to analyze, so just let me know, okay? Because we will now move on to the letter C. We're in, in letter C. It is asking us the voltage drop across each section, okay? So this one is actually super simple. So initially we have E total, of course, but So initially we have 48 volts, okay? And then of course it will pass through this R1 and then R2. Where of course it will still supply uh, by 48 volts. But uh, the one that is being asked is the voltage drop that you know will be accumulated by this resistance. So the higher the resistance, the more voltage drop that you know it will get. The lower the resistance, of course, the lesser the voltage drop that it will get. Okay, so in here, uh, if you wanted to get the uh, V1, okay, we call that one V1 for the voltage drop across R1, then you should have this formula, I1 times R1. So since we're only getting the, you know, the individual uh, value, then you should also get the individual uh, values of your I1 and then R1. So with that, if you already have the I1 and then R1, then you can now get the V1, okay? And then the R2. So V2 is equal to I2 times R2. So in here, in our formula right here, so all you need to do is, you know, uh, get the para, I mean the uh, one uh, value of the R1 and R2, since as we may all know, okay, in parallel connection, whatever is the voltage that is flowing here is also the same that is flowing on the R1. Okay, so E1, where is it, parallel wheel connection? So E1 is equal to E2, okay? So going back right here, so just get the uh, parallel uh, value of this one. We're in the parallel value of this one is this formula right here, R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2, or this one right here, or this one right here. So it's actually four ohms okay if you will combine the r1 and r2 so using this formula okay or the one that we have in here v1 is equal to i1 times r1 so i1 okay since uh you know they are already in one connection so if you have already combined the r1 and r2 then we can now have a three ampere uh current that is flowing in this path okay so that is why uh, the ampere right here or the uh, current right here is also uh, 3 amps. But if you want to get the uh, individual currents, then you should also get the uh, individual uh, values of that R1 and R2 and uh, V1 and V2, which is, uh, of course, longer. Okay, So that is why I have 
already combined uh, this one since it's uh, under one rule only in the parallel connection because whatever is the value of your uh, R1 is also equal to your uh, R2, okay? So with that uh, being said, so our uh, ampere right here is three amps and then the uh, uh, resistance is four amps, okay? So just multiply one three times four, you will get 12 volts. So with that, we already know that we have a uh, 12 volts uh, voltage drop on the R1 and then 12 volts uh, voltage drop on the R2. Okay, so the same logic with the other. So ER3 and then the ER4, R5, and then R6. So we have here a voltage drop of 9 volts and then a voltage drop of 27 volts. And then one more thing for you to be able to check if your answer is correct or no. So, you know, if you add everything E1 plus uh, E2 up to E6, okay, you should get uh, the, uh, the same value of your uh, V total. Okay. So 12 plus 9 plus 27 will give us a, a result of 48 volts. So with that, uh, we'll be able to identify that uh, our answers are correct. Okay. So since we don't have enough 